Welcome back, everybody. It's a little chilly up here, but we got warm hearts as 2021 season gets on the way. Beaverworks Diecast Racing have been cooking up the next episode, and the Igloo Proving Grounds is ready to serve up the next rock drop jump. Oh, yeah. Three more rally carts are set up, and we are eager little beavers to see how they do. Let's go check them out. Lancia Delta Integrale. Six out of ten from the 2021 Baja Blazer series. A new casting, road going version of the HF Integrale competing in the Group A World Rally Championship. 30 to 40 grams is the butter zone. Let's see how he does. Subaru WRX STI. Six out of six from the 2019 Back Road Rally series. Black and gold is always a good combination. Just like light, low, and a good wide stance is a good combination for jumping cars. And with that 36 degree tip point, this one has got it all. Volvo V60 Wagon. Our Matchbox Super Fast version of this Volvo, and it has a number on it, so that will qualify it for a shot at the rock drop. Featuring those cool rubber tires and a low tip point, a little on the heavy side at 41 grams, We'll see how it does. The Rock Drop Jump. Three sections of off-the-shelf black track mounted on a 70 to 20 degree drop to launch angles over a 38 centimeter gap. And that's when we start measuring. Cars are judged on the ability to make it, distance and style. Like not careening into the edges. On to drop number one, we have D-Man in the Lancia. This is going to be his first drop, so let's see how he does in this monster. Good to go, way big air. And just takes it back into the flatbed. Just a tap, but that jump is huge. Nine centimeters. No kidding, that's a new record for the Igloo Proving Grounds Rock Drop Jump. You see the hang time on the ramp cam? Let's check out the Igloo replay. He's nice and fast down there. He has a low arc, gives him way more distance. And just gets a tap on the side, enough to make that flatbed move. We're not sure if the judges will give him the... They don't. Ah, oh, they're being harsh today. No style bonus. Distance of nine centimeters, total of 47. That's crazy. On the drop number two, and we have Cindy Six Pack in the Subaru WRX STI. Let's see how she does. Sounds good. Big, long jump again, and still puts it up into the logs. Let's see how she did. Wow, that looked like it was another nine centimeter. Two record-breaking jumps back to back. There is no love on that landing, you can tell, but it looks like they've thrown the style bonus right out the window today and just let it all hang out on the jump. Look at that. That's huge, Air. Love every second of it. Looks like she might have been on the brakes and she just slid right into the wall at the end. Cindy Six Pack bringing home a nine centimeter jump for a total of 47 centimeters. That's huge. Still no style bonus. Drop number three. We're going to see Rashadi R in the Volvo V60 wagon. See how he does in this rubber tired beast going downhill. And, oh, he does not make it. Front end into the pit. It's a good thing he is in the Volvo V60 wagons, which does have one of the highest front impact safety ratings in the world. And he needed it by the looks of how hard he hit that pit. Let's check the igloo replay. Just not enough speed and way too much junk in the nose. Pulled him right down and caught the edge before he even made it onto the landing ramp. Hence in the pit. Looks like the emergency crews have got Rashadi out and he looks okay. They're gonna pick that car out of the pit. Drop number three, Rashadi R gets a DNF in the Volvo V60 wagon. 
round one results, we have a record-breaking tie between D-Man in the Lancia and Cindy Sixpack in the Subaru, both at 47 centimeters each. No style bonus points so far, and Rashadi R is a DNF. Go ahead and do Beaverworks a solid and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, click the little bell, and maybe even leave us a comment. Beaverworks is international. The DIRS 2021 series has the EVH inspired 61 Impala. Driven by Top Jimmy, he is the king. The Hot Wheels 69 Chevelle SS is down at the Chaos Canyon for the Canyon Outlaws with Stompin' Tom driving. And Hot Car Track has got the Hot Match and Hot Box Vans for Fantastic 2021. Bob and Doug driving those guys. On to drop number four, we have D-Man in the Lancia Integrante. Gotta love Italian car names. Here he goes. Too fast for the cameraman as usual. That was a super long jump and into the sides. There goes the style bonus, but look at that distance. What do we got? Ew. It's coming out as 11 centimeters. Hey there, can I have a triple record breaking day? Sure, would you like fries with that? That's insane. Let's check this one out on the replay. He gets lots of speed off that ramp and again keeps his jump angle low, which gives him way more distance. He was really fast. You could tell because there was no slowing down to get the style bonus. Drop number four sees Rashadi R pushing for a pilot's license and a 49 centimeter total distance. That is a huge record for this track. Let's see what Cindy six pack can do. Run number five in the Subaru. Here she goes. And she gets the style bonus. Not bad. Didn't careen into the logs. Getting a read on the distance this time. Six centimeters the judges are calling. Not quite as long as the last jump, but going for the style point this time. Checking out the igloo replay, we can tell she's coming down the hill at a medium pace this time. Ha! And taps one side, taps the other, gets one 360 and stops right in the middle. That's how you get a style point. Drop number five sees one style point for Cindy six pack and a 44 centimeter total distance. Final results. Lancy Integrale with D-Man makes a new record at 49 centimeters. Cindy six pack in the Subaru WRX holds on for a style point. Volvo V60, well, the crew said they couldn't get all 16 airbags crammed back inside there. So your winner is D-Man in the Lancy Integrale. Tower is reporting they actually caught a blip on the radar. Shoutouts this week, starting off to Guru and the Gibbs for all they are up to down at the Chaos Canyon, including the DSPN report, the Diecast Racing Report put out by Kit K. Ham and his crew, catch up on all the highlights and groovy stories out there in the Diecast Racing world, and keep up to date with all that is going on in the Diecast Racing world over at Red Line Derby Racing. Resources, information, up-to-date track news, the race calendar, they got it all. And the biggest shout-out of all, thank you all very much for watching this content and all of the other Diecast Racing channels. From Beaverworks Diecast Racing, we'll see you next time.